Solving systems of equations by graphing is relatively easy. Just follow the steps. Number one, get the equations into y equals mx b form. Number two, graph both equations. If the graphs are the same, they have infinitely many solutions. If they're parallel, there are no solutions. And if they intersect, so let's look at the first one. All right, so key thing is to get y equals mx plus b form. So the first one's already that. Let's look at the second. Get rid of that 2x, take it to the other side. It's going to be negative 2x plus the 9. And then divide everything by 3. Then we'll have it into y equals mx plus b form. Graph it like normal. Okay, go ahead and graph it like normal. So number two, graph both equations. It starts at uh, positive one on the first one. Then it goes down two, right three. Down two, right three. And go take your ruler or your ID and go ahead and to the best of your ability, draw a straight line. Then you're gonna do this very same thing. Take another color though. Three, down two, right three. Down two, right three. Again, different color. Go ahead and graph it. Can you tell me about those two lines? They're parallel. Okay. So if the graphs are parallel, they have no solutions. If the graphs are parallel, they have no solutions. Listening check. Go ahead and color in your y equals mx plus b equations. That is y equals negative 2 over 3x plus 1 and y equals negative 2 over 3x plus 3. The two equations we just graphed. All right, second example again. Number one, get into y equals mx plus b. That one is, this one isn't. Take the 4x to the side, so it becomes negative 4x. Divide everything by 2, so you're going to get y by itself. y equals negative 2x plus 3. All right, then go ahead and graph it. So graph both equations. y equals negative 2x plus 3, so 3. And we're going to go negative 2 down to right one down to right one again take your ruler or your student id card and get it as straight as you possibly can next one same thing rise of iran so it's got a three and then it goes down to right one well that's exactly the same thing as the first one so what can you say it's the exact same line so let's take a look at our notes it's the exact same line oh look the same infinitely many solutions so if it's the exact same line it has infinitely many solutions listening check Go ahead and color in the y equals mx plus b, the two equations. That's y equals negative 2x plus 3, both of them. Okay, another example. So same thing, get into y equals mx plus b form. So that one is, this one isn't. Take the 2x to the side, comes negative 2x. There's no divided, so you're done. Graph both equations. So we're going to start at negative 3. We're going to do rise over run. Go ahead and put a 1 under it. So going down 3, right 1. Down 3, right 1. Take a ruler or your student ID card, draw a straight line. All right, then take a different color. Take a different color for the second line. I'm going to do the exact same thing. This time the intersection is negative 1. And it's over 1, so we're going to down 2 and right 1. Down 2 and right 1. Again. And again, you need to be very straight with this because the intersection in this one is your answer. So where the two lines intersect is your solution. Again, they're not the same, they're not parallel, they intersect. So where they intersect is your solution. So I'm going to circle it real quick. What is that point? Negative 2, 3. So negative 2, 3 is my solution to the system of equations. Listening check, go ahead and color in what we just wrote down. Negative 2, 3 is the solution. All right, let's do one more. Again, first things first, go ahead and get into y equals mx plus b form. So we need to solve for y. So we're going to divide everything by 6. Get y is 1 over 6x, and on this side, we're going to take that x to the other side. It's going to be negative x, divide everything by negative 3. So y equals positive x over 3 or 1 third x uh, plus 1. Okay, then graph it. So graph both equations in step 2. So let's go ahead and graph it uh, plus 0 because there's no y intercept. So we're going to start at the origin and we're going up 1, right 6. Up 1, right 6. Take a ruler, go ahead and join the two lines. Listening check. Oh, just kidding. I just wanted to say what's up. Take a different color pen or pencil. We're going to do the same thing. This time kind of plus one, and we're going up one, right three. Up one, right three. Up one, right three. Again, take a ruler because wherever these two lines intersect is the solution. 
wherever these two lines intersect is the solution. Okay, so they're not the same, they're not parallel, they intersect. So whatever that is, that's the solution. So what's that? Negative, negative six, negative one. Negative six, negative one is your solution. I really hope you listen to this video. It's gonna make the work that we're doing in class so much easier for you. So just a summary, solving systems of equations by graphing is relatively easy. Just follow the steps. Number one, get the equations into y equals mx b form. Number two, graph both equations. If the graphs are the same, they have infinitely many solutions. If they're parallel, there are no solutions. And if they intersect, they have one solution at the intersection. It's enough to try to stay